thank you for joining me. This is Jenny with Jenny Love Journals and today we are going to make these cute little inserts, I guess you can call them, for your journal. I don't even know what I would call these. Honestly, they are like trifold tag inserts. So basically what these are is these open up um, like this. So I have it so that the big one, next big one, and then the smaller one on top. And they just open like this and they have pockets on the inside. Like there's a pocket right here. Even this is a pocket. This is a little side tuck thing. And then there's a side pocket over here. And the main part of it is actually a tag. You guys can see and I left the back blank because you can glue this right into your journal or onto your journal page um, and I decorated the front like I put these little tickets here and for this specific one with the lavender I downloaded and printed these pages or papers um, or the kit actually um, it's called value printables and that is on Etsy I can put the link below for that in case you want to check that out and download and print this specific kit. I thought it was really cute. Um, like I said, it comes with all of the lavender flowers and lavender colors. Um, there's main pages, background pages, ephemera, you know, tags, all kinds of different things with this kit. I believe it's like 127 pieces, if I'm not mistaken. It's a very, very cute kit. So um, this is the specific kit that I used to make these. So again, we have a pocket here and even a little pocket here. I put a few um, little tickets in there. This is a side tuck here and I put a plant market, uh, like a farmer's market receipt type looking thing in here. I thought that was, that was cute. And then over here we have another pocket that I tucked, oops, that I tucked a few things into that. And I made two of them. So I made this one, which is a larger one. And then I made the smaller version here. So um, it's basically the same thing. They're just different sizes. This is more like a longer, narrower type. And this is like a, you know, a fatter kind of tag. But then I, you know, I did the same thing. I put a pocket right here. And then I just kind of cut this tag out and glued some paper on the front of that, I add some stickers like the butterfly. I put this here um, and then I made a little collaged card. Like I literally just collaged some paper onto it to make it look cute. And then in here, this is a tuck right here. And I just kind of glued a stamp onto a gingham background here for that. I thought that was cute. So again, they just kind of flap shut like one, two. So there's three, one, two, three. So that's why I just call it like, I don't know, would you call this a trifold? Cause it's one, two, three. It doesn't fold three times, it folds twice, but there are three um, pieces there. So I don't know if anybody else had made anything exactly like this. I know that there are crafters out there that have made things similar to this. I'm sure they probably have. But this is just kind of an idea that I came up with when I was playing around yesterday with um, some things and this kit. And I was like, what can I make out of this kit? So this is what I came up with, but um, I do not claim any rights to this because again, I don't know if this specific type of design was created before. I'm sure it has, but again, this is just what I came up with. So we're gonna make some of these today and I'm gonna show you guys how, but we're going to actually do them and a little bit of a bigger version. Like these are smaller, but I'm gonna make some bigger ones today so that you can um, put them in your journal and glue them down to your page and they'll be almost the size of your page, but not, you know, not quite, but almost. So let's set these aside. All right, so some of the papers we're gonna be using for today's is, um, I chose a few regular pages and some background pages and these are from my porch prints and I will put the link to her Etsy store down in the description if you want to um, follow along follow along exactly and use this specific kit um, or you can choose to use your own um, you know any any papers that you want to use 
but this is what I'm using today. And this is called Timeless Treasures, I believe. Um, I believe that's what this kit is called. And I have some ephemera over here too that we're gonna be using with this kit. So first of all, what we're gonna do is I have some cardstock paper here. And I like to start with the cardstock paper because obviously you want your tags to be nice and durable. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this right down the middle so that we have two large tags to start with because again, the tags are the back piece here. As you can see, it's shaped like a tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and make two tags out of this one piece of cardstock. So let's see, this is an 11 inch sheet. So we're gonna mark the halfway point here at five and a half. So let's do that right here. All right, and then we're going to grab our cutter here, cut that right down the middle so that we have two even pieces. And all right, so these are going to be our main tags. So each one, each piece is going to be about this big. And then, of course, we're going to have our two folded pieces that are going to be smaller than this. So we're going to cut our sides here, cut our angles here. So this is going to be a big tag. So we kind of want to cut larger angles. And then we're going to put this over here so that we can match them up and make sure that they are in fact the same. There we go. Okay, so there is our main tag. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this. So I wanna use one of these main sheets here to cover this. I'm not sure. Let's go with the hourglass sheet. So let me cut this down the center here. These are journal pages, obviously, so, um, you know, because it is, you know, half and half, but I'm not going to be using these today for a journal, so. Okay, I did cut this a little bit smaller than the tag itself, so what we're going to have to do, hold on, is we're going to have to make the tag itself a little smaller in order to fit the sheets of paper because otherwise we would have went over on onto the other a little bit over onto the other sheet which would have been fine but i just prefer to stay within the perimeters of this one half here so let me cut around it i'm trying to hold it the best i can so it doesn't slip and slide around And then this top piece here. There we go. It still looks, oop, knocking things over. Still looks like a tag, obviously. Just a little bit smaller. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this onto this. So let's flip this over. And set this on there just to make sure yes okay so we're gonna use our art glitter glue that is my glue of choice and I don't I lost my pin you know the pin that you put in here I don't know where it went hopefully it's not on the floor anywhere I didn't see it <laughs> okay so let's glue around the edges first because we want it to be glued down good with nothing lifting up. I got shaky hands today. I don't know why. I keep going off the edge of the paper. I can't keep my hands, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't keep my hands steady today. And I'm just gonna glue the whole, the whole thing. And then we're going to put this down on our paper. Get 
your bone folder, smooth it out. You might have some oozing because I know that um, it was coming out a little fast when I was doing the edges because I literally just refilled the bottle. And sometimes when you refill the bottle and you refill it a little too much, it will ooze out. Huh. Not too bad. All right, so let's cut around. Some glue did get on my scissors doing that. <laughs> Okay, there we go, very beautiful. So hold on, there's a little bit on the edges here. And we're gonna ink around this, so it's not like it's really that big of a deal if there's like the tiniest bit showing, but we're gonna make sure that, try our best to make sure that there's not anyway. Okay, press that down. So there's that, and we have our Vintage Photo Distress Oxide Ink. So we're gonna ink the edges. You can do it as light or as dark as you wish. I'm kinda gonna kinda go for like a medium shade here so that you can see it, but it's not overpowering. It'll give it just that perfect Distress vintagey look. After all, the kit we are using again is called Timeless Treasure, so that right there is vintage in itself. Okay, so here's our main back tag that we are going to um, put our flaps on. And so let's make our other two flaps first before we start connecting everything. So for that, let me see. Let me see, maybe I should use this for, because there's a bigger flap over here and a smaller flap that's gonna come over here. So maybe I can just cut this out. And yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. But first, let me grab the card stock. And I want to measure, I'm just gonna measure here on my board because I'm gonna go from this corner down here to the end. It would be right here is where we're gonna cut it off. And we don't want it to be as wide as this. We want it to be about half half of this width. So, so that would be half of this because this is the same width as this because it's the other side that we used here. So that would be about a little over two and a half inches. So we're gonna go about here. And let's cut that. First we'll cut it down the center and then we'll cut it off where we need our length to be. Okay, so that's going to go to about right there. That looks about right. Okay, so we're going to cover this, but first what I want to do, actually we'll do that after we cover it, because I want to get the corners rounded. So first let's cover this. We're going to cover it. We want to get it right in the center right there. About right there. Because we want that beautiful flower in the glass globe thing, I guess you can say, to be right in the center of this. Alrighty, let's glue this down. 
That looks like it's about center. Hopefully we did a good job. Hopefully we got it in the center. We'll find out here in a minute when we start cutting. <laughs> so we're gonna cut around this. And also guys, as always, um, the pieces that I'm making today for you and also the pieces that I already made that I showed you already, which are these two pieces here, they will be for sale in my Etsy store, just in case you're interested in purchasing the ones that I had already made and you don't want to make some of your own or you just don't have time to make some but you want to have them, um, again, you can head on over to my Etsy store and purchase these. Um, I don't know how long they will be available. Usually when I make things like this, they do sell pretty quick. So if you want them, I would try to hurry up and get over there. Um, I will put the link to my Etsy store in the description below as always. I do actually also have my own printable kits over there that, you know, I do, I do use my own printable kits, but I also enjoy using other people's, um, other creators, um, you know, papers and stuff as well. Oh, look at that. That's almost perfect. It is pretty much perfect. Okay, I'm going to take these pieces actually, and they don't look like much, but I will use them. So I'm going to put these in my scrap pile. All right. That looks really, really pretty. And now what we're going to do too is we're going to round the corners. So I have my, my corner punch here. If you don't have a corner punch, it's okay. You can always use your glue and just, you know, put it on like this, you know, so it's, there's a little bit coming out and then just trace this way and cut it with your scissors. Or if you have anything else that's round, you can, you know, just use anything that's round. But I got my corner punch from Amazon. I don't remember how much it was, but I do remember that it wasn't very expensive at all. Okay, we have that. And also I wanna cover the back of this because when we flip it, it's gonna look like this. And when it flips, we're gonna see the back. So I wanna cover the back of this as well as the front. So we have some of the background sheets over here. Hmm. Which one I wanna use. Um, actually, I think I'll go with this one here. It's really pretty. I should have waited to round the corners after I put the background sheet on, but it's okay because we can just cut around the corners. So what we're going to do is flip this over and we're going to glue this on like that. Again, my glue is being very oozy because I just refilled the bottle today. And I might have refilled it just a little too much, which happens, you know, but it's okay because we're using it today and it'll go down. I'm gonna put it as close to the edge as possible so that we're not wasting so much paper and we can use what's left for other projects. All right, we're gonna cut this. Cut around. I know I always, whenever I say around, that's what I say, around. <laughs> Just trying to be careful so that I don't cut the main part here. 
All right, let's trim. The papers that I trim are sticking to my scissors because of the glue. <laughs> There we go, there's the back. All right, and I wanna ink around the edges of this as well, on the front and the back. Give it that distressed, vintagey look. Again, you can do it as light or as dark as you wish, it is your project. Actually, there's a piece right, whoop, 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 don't go anywhere. <laughs> there's a piece right here that needs to be trimmed. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Okay. And so now we have to make one more of these for this side. But the one I'm gonna make on this side is gonna be shorter than this, but a little bit fatter than this, but not quite as fat as this. I don't wanna say fatter, but wider. That might be, you know what I forgot to do? I also wanted to round the corners down here. So I'm gonna do that. You don't have to round your corners, but I just think that they look cleaner when you do. All right, so let's make this side over here. We're gonna do the same thing we just did, but like I said, a little wider and shorter. So actually, I'd be able to use one of these maybe. Well, not this one because that's already over there, but we, can, we might be able to use this one. Hmm, it might be too short, honestly. Because, yeah, that's gonna be too short. And I don't wanna put it this way because I don't know that I want this design to be sideways. I would rather have it like this. Um. Actually, we could do this. That doesn't look too bad, right? But we're going to trim some of the ends off of here because that width, that width is perfect. That width is exactly what I want. So let me go ahead and trim off some of the ends here. Not too much, though. Just a little bit so that it's not as long. All right, so like this, or should we have it like, we'll do it like this. That's good. Okay, so we'll only have to back, you know, cover the back of this. So let's do that, let's find See, I got these other ones here that we didn't use for the backgrounds. So I think I'm going to go with this one to cover the back. So let's do that. And I also have this, the ephemera, on cardstock so that it's, it's also nice and thick. And we'll round our corners and stuff once we get it all stuck down and cut out. I don't know how many of you seen my tutorial video that I put out last week of the waterfall pocketbook that I made. But if you did and you happened 
to have made one, then I would absolutely love to see it. I would love to see your version. So if you did, um, please go ahead and take some pictures of that or some short videos and email me. My email address is in my about section right here on my YouTube channel. Um, I would love to see what you guys created if you did. Because I just, I love to see other people's creations. So we're going to cut around this. Put that aside. Trim it up a little bit. Some on this end too, I believe. I see. Yes. Right there. Alrighty, that looks good. All right, so I'm putting it this way, right? Is that what we decided? So let's round our corners and do all four corners, of course. And of course we need to ink it. Not worth it today. I went to go grab the ink and I grabbed the lid to it instead. <laughs> All right, we're gonna ink both sides here. Since we're gonna be seeing both sides, we wanna make sure that it looks distressed on both sides. I love this background. It's very rustic. All right. All right, guys, now is the part where we're gonna start putting this together. So the way we're gonna do that is with some washi tape. Okay, now you don't have to use washi tape if you don't prefer washi tape or if you don't have washi tape you can always just take um you know like use this as an example like strips of paper and just glue it and put it down right here down the center you know make sure you score it first so that it folds easily and you can do it like that but today I'm going to be using some washi tape so I have um, some washi tape in here that will match this design here. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to go with this one. Maybe. about this one? Uh, I like this one too. This one matches pretty good. Um, this one's wider, so I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, I like that. So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to turn this sideways so I can get a better visual here. Put it here and make sure that they're lined up evenly. And I'm gonna start down here and make sure that this washi tape is centered. It looks pretty centered. I'm gonna guide it up. The good thing about washi tape is most times you can see through it so I can see the line through that so that I know that it's staying centered. that off. All right, don't worry, we'll cut this off too. Um, I know some people 
have a hard time getting their washi tape to stick. And it really depends on where you you get your washi tape, honestly, because there are some, you know, durable, good brands. And then there's some cheaper brands out there that don't really stick as well. So if you happen to have washi tape that doesn't stick as well, you can also use glue on your washi tape. Just make sure that it's a very thin layer so that you don't like see the lines of the glue through the washi tape and it's nice and smooth. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So let me turn this, make sure it's on the line here so that we can line them up together. So that we know that they're even. We're gonna stick our washi tape down right in the center there. Make sure that the line is right in the center. And again, if you are using washi tape, you wanna make sure that it matches the design that you're going with, you know. Um, or if you're using paper, you can cover those strips of paper with pieces of the the kit that you're using so that it matches and looks looks good all right guys so actually i just i made a boo-boo here and i just realized that i stuck these down upside down because when you fold them over like this it shows the back and not the front so now i have to very carefully um peel these off so that i can turn them around and tape them the other way so bear with me while i do that all right guys and back so yeah that was a mistake that i made i accidentally um attached these on the wrong sides so that when i folded it over you would see the back on the top instead of the front so learn from my mistakes guys don't do that so <laughs> um as you guys can see here i have it open and I have the back sides of the flaps facing up with the front side of this facing up so that when you go to close it, you would see the front of those just like that. So make sure that when you attach these first, you um, or before you attach them, make sure that you kind of, you know, um, act out how it's going to fold so that you can make sure that the, the top of this is going, the, you know, whichever way you want it to go so that it's not turned the other way as well and then go ahead, uh, lay your flaps down and put them against the centerpiece here and put the washi tape over it. Again, if you don't want to use washi tape, you can just take strips of paper. Um, you can use strips of paper from the kit that you're using and just put glue down it and you know score the center and then put glue down it and then go ahead and glue those down. Now, as you guys can see, when I went to go lift these up, I did accidentally rip right here a little bit um, so, I mean, I, I had to move the, the washi tape over a little bit more so that it wouldn't, you know, come over as far, but I did, um, put some distress ink over it right here just to kind of make it look like it's been distressed so that nobody would really know that that's what happened. I mean, hopefully you guys can kind of see that so <laughs> but otherwise I was able to get these up nice and smoothly and turn them around and fix the problem okay so they're gonna close like this you're gonna close this side first and then this side and so yeah so the only thing left that we have to do is attach some pockets into these and on here um, on the center here and embellish it a little bit so let's start, we're gonna make a pocket for this side first. So I have some pieces over here that are from this kit. Uh, let's see, I have, well, I don't wanna use this because it has that on there and I don't wanna, you know, double that up. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do a side pocket over here. So I might use one of these, I'm not sure. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I have this. Oh, that's a little too big. Okay. Let's see. I have this too. That's really pretty. Those are more like tags. So let's set these off to the side because we can actually put these in the pockets. Um, 
you know what, I might go ahead and use this for a pocket. Um, again, this is just the ephemera that I'm using from this kit, but you can always make your own pockets. You can take some paper and, you know, cut them into rectangles or squares and uh, create your own pockets. And you can just embellish the front or you can cover them, whatever you decide to do. So this is a little wide, so I do need to cut this down just a little bit. So let's take the ends off here. I'll move this out of the way so that I can move this up so you guys can see more of what I'm doing here. little bit more we're gonna have to cut um yeah I don't want to cut more of the phone cord off so we'll come over here more okay that's better much better all right so now what we're gonna do is we're going to round the bottom corner is on here and we're going to put a notch right here so that you can put a pole in there so that you are able to pull out whatever you have down into that pocket. So let's go ahead and round these corners. Alrighty, it was being a little stubborn the first time. Don't know why. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to, well, let, first let's put the pole in and then we'll ink it up, turn it around so I can actually see what I'm doing. This is just my circle punch. If you don't have a circle punch, um, again, like I said, you can always just take a bottle of glue or something round and then just trace around it and cut it with your scissors. Easy peasy either way. So let's ink this up. I love this kit. This kit is absolutely adorable. All right, guys, that is inked. So let's get this stuck down. So we're only going to glue here, here, and here since it's a pocket. You don't want too much because you don't want it to seep through, but you also want just enough to make sure that it's going to stay down. There we go. How adorable is that? Make sure it's still able to flip, which we know it will because it doesn't go all the way here to the, the line. So we're good on that. All right, so that pocket's done. Now we have to put a side pocket over here. This is going to be a sideways pocket so that you can tuck things in and out this way. Um, you can do it this way, but it'll be a little narrow, so you'll only be able to put, like, you know, really thin pieces of ephemera or tags in there, but that's totally up to you. Um, I'm thinking I want to save this because it has the lines on it so that you can you can journal on that. Yeah, if I use this, I'm going to have to cut that typewriter in half, and I don't want to have to do that. So, we could use this, but, because, you know, this design is on the other side of this, so we can make it so that it kind of matches. But what I'm thinking is cutting it off just under the flowers here. So let's do something like that because you won't you won't see this part, but you'll just see from like this line over and all of that. And that will be our long pocket. And that would actually be a good size as far as length. 
as well. So let's cut that. Let's cut that down, and we can we can find something to use for the other half of that. All right, see. So we can do something like that. All right, and since this is not meeting the corners of here, we're not gonna round these corners, but we are gonna notch it. So let's do that first. Should we actually do it this way so that we're not notching out those flowers? Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it that way because I don't wanna do the notch on the flowers and then you know, take away from the flowers. So let's ink it up. Okay, we're gonna glue this down just on, again, on the three sides since it's going to be a pocket. Again, this is gonna be a side pocket. Sure, it's even on this side and this side so that it's actually right in the center. I'm just going to eyeball that. It looks pretty good. And again, you don't have to use ephemera to make your pockets. Um, it is a lot easier because obviously there's already a design on it, so you don't have to cover it or you don't have to embellish it. Um, and it already goes with the theme that you are using. But again, you can just use regular, you know, like uh, like cardstock paper, um, you know, make sure it's kind of a thick paper because you want your pockets to be a little thicker and you can cover it with any paper you want. You can embellish it any way you want. That's totally up to you. But I personally just decided that it would be best to use the ephemera that came with this kit to make these pockets. So that is so adorable so far. So I have to think of what to put here in the middle. And I'm not really sure because I don't really want to cover this hourglass too much. So I'm thinking maybe, hmm. Now with the other ones that I made, I made side tucks. So I might do that, but put it over here on this side so that you can tuck something in over here like this so that it doesn't cover up the hourglass too awful much. And it can cover up my little mistake right here too. So I didn't even think of that. So let's see what we got to work with that. I wonder, because we do have this, but that does cover the hourglass completely now, doesn't it? It covers it completely. That is cute though, but I don't want to cover that hourglass. Hmm. You know what, we can use two of these to go right here in the center and you can, you can see the top half of the hourglass and we can make these into a pocket. Hmm. And then we'll have this hourglass right here so that we can actually see what the full hourglass looks like. So I don't know if I want to do these two or these two. I'm thinking these two because the, the black lantern here matches the, the black phone over here. So let's cut this down. Just eliminate that piece. So yeah, we can go just like this. What do you guys think about that? It's actually kind of pretty. So let's round the corners down here. You know, some of you might be watching and saying, oh my God, no, I don't, I don't like that. And that's fine. You know, everybody has their preference on how they think things should look, which is why when you if you decide to create one of these, you can make it look the way you want it to look. 
I personally think that that looks good because again, not only can you still see the top half of this, I mean, it is taken away from some of those flowers, but because I decided to use this, you can still see what it looks like. So you're not, you know, completely taken away from that. So let's ink this up. And I don't think I'm going to put a notch in this one because it already kind of still has a little bit of a notch here. And putting a notch in to, you know, the tags that are connected here, I think would look a little odd. So we're just going to leave it the way it is and glue it down. This is going to be a pretty wide pocket, so we'll be able to fit you know, a couple things down in here. Alrighty. Make sure I put it down correctly so that it's lined up in the middle. And there we go. There's that pocket. So we can put some some of these tags down in here, right? So we got those, or actually we can put these in here because these have the lines for journaling, right? And they're, they fit in here perfectly. So why don't we do that? Put these down in here. And again, if you don't, use this particular kit and you want to use a different kit or create your own um, ephemera to put in the pockets, that is totally up to you. And we have, I have a bunch of these tags that came with this kit. We're obviously not going to need that. And we just used these two for that. So let's put these aside. So I kind of want to use these two tags. Will these two fit in here? Let's see. Oh yes, they just fit actually. So we'll put those two tags in here and I have these four tags. Actually, you know what? Let's ink these up first because we want to keep, you know, keep the theme going. This one doesn't need much inking, but I'll just do just the edges to take the white away from where it's been cut. Thinking that I'm going to need to order some more of the vintage photo ink soon. I have several of these, but different colors. I don't, I only have one of the vintage photo and it's getting pretty low. All right, let's ink these. Should we put all four of these? Because we can Um, actually, let's pick two. Let's pick two to go in there. I like this one. We already have the hourglass, so we'll use that one. we we'll use these two to go in the side pocket. And again, you can create your own tags or journaling cards. Um, I actually did... Um, the last one I made, the one that I showed you earlier, I made a collaged card to put in the side pocket. Just wanted to be a little bit more creative, you know. So let's, let's go like this. Put those in there like that. There. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I don't know, I don't think I wanna put anything up here, like right here. Um, hmm. You know, and if, my dog is breathing heavy, by the way, if you hear heavy breathing. I don't know, but I might wanna fussy cut this guitar on this book out maybe and glue that on. Let's try that and see how that looks. In the last video I made, 
doing the waterfall pocketbook that I made. You could hear my dog <laughs> snoring in the background. So whenever I'm sitting here at my desk crafting, he's usually right next to me sleeping. And he's, he's a loud sleeper, he snores pretty loud. Okay, so we got that. That's, that is so cute, okay. So should we put it sideways like this, maybe? Or up and down? Or like sideways, yeah, let's go like that. Let's go that way. Let's put a little bit of glue on the back of that. I, I really like fussy cutting out things from kits from like the ephemera or even the sheets you know like there's a lot of times I'll get background sheets that have a bunch of little flowers all over it so I'll cut those out and use those for you know this type of thing just to embellish outside the box a little bit there we go that is so cute okay so we have that all done guys and again, we leave the back blank so that you can glue this down onto your journal page or your journal cover or inside cover or whatever you prefer. Or if you want to just keep it like this and, you know, use it loosely, you can cover the back as well. But I would do that before you put all of this stuff on so that's just easier to cut. So yeah, so this is how the flaps would go. I mean, you could close it like this. Either way, it doesn't matter, but I think it looks better when you close the left side longer flap first and then the right side shorter flap over that how adorable is that and then again we have these oh we forgot to ink these we have these two little journal cards in the center pocket so that you have something to journal on and that's another thing too as far as the back of this being blank if you don't want to you know add it to your journal and you want to just use it loosely if you want to leave the back blank, you can journal on the back of that as well. That is also another option. Um, you can also journal on other cards or papers and use those to put in the pockets of this to add to the ephemera that's already in the pockets. You can fatten this baby right up. That is definitely a possibility. There we go. How adorable. And I know, I know the sun is starting to peek through over here. So it's a good thing we're done with this video because I'm probably blinding you guys. But yeah, guys, I really enjoy making these. And again, I made these two last night. They are smaller, as you can see. Um, these two will be for sale in my Etsy store. They will be together. Um, I won't be selling them separately. I'll be selling these um, together. And the ephemera that's inside of it will also come with it on both of these. So that's the same thing with this. I am going to make another one of these of the same um, theme, the same kit. But I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than this so that I can also have this up for sale on my Etsy store paired with another one that matches but it's a little bit smaller so again if you don't want to make one of these or if you don't have time to make one or whatever the case may be but you really like these and you want them again head on over to my Etsy store and see if they are still available and if they are you're welcome to purchase them so thank you guys so so much for joining me today and again I hope you really liked this video and I hope that you bring out your crafty creative side and try your hand at making one of these as well and as I always say if you do decide to make one please take pictures short videos email them to me I would love 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 to see your version of these I love to see everybody else's work um, everybody is so creative in their own individual way and you just never know what people are gonna are gonna come up with when they get creative on things like this so yeah i would love to see it and i really hope that you guys have a good rest of your week and a good weekend and i will be back next week with another project and yeah thank you guys so much for joining me have a good day